drug enforcement? How can I help you? Yeah, it's Tony Soprano. I was talking to some guy. He put me on hold. Music playing. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Well, which officer did you speak? I, he never spoke to me. I never got his name. He put me on hold, and then his music mm -hmm. starts playing. I don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, please show the line. Okay. Could you please don't put that music on again. Huh? What? What? Mm. Help me out with your first and last name. Tony. T-O-N-Y. Soprano. Common spelling. How do you... How do you spell the last word? Common spelling, soprano. How do you spell that, your last name? Soprano, S-O-P-R-A-N-O, -O, common spelling, I said. Oh, really? It's a common spelling? Yes. I've, I've heard this for the first time. Well, okay, then I guess it's not common to you. Mm-hmm. Why have you called me then? You called me. I'm calling you back. Oh. When did you receive the call from my department, I Mr. Received Tony? A, uh, yeah, 330. 330. Help me out with your social security number then. Ah, uh, zero one seven one zero one four seven eight. Hold on. Oh, what? Hold on. Hold on. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah, say. Well, what? Say your social security number, nine digit of your social security number with your date of birth. Zero. Nine one. Mm -hmm. One zero. Nine one. One seven five four. One zero. One seven five three. Four. 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 Okay. Four. One seven five four. Okay. Right. And help me out with your date of birth. Four. One. Forty nine. Four. One. Nineteen forty nine. That's it. Okay, that's it. Nine four one. In what state your social was issued to you? Uh, it was uh, New York. Where do you think it was? New York. Oh, New York. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Did you spoke to some on of our offices earlier? No, I didn't spoke to nobody before. Nobody. No problem. Okay. Please hold the line. Let me pull up the case file for you. Okay. Hello? Go ahead. Yeah. Please hold the line, Mr. Tony. Let okay. me transfer this call to the officer who is handling your case file. Okay? Okay. Let me talk so to him. So he will judge you in a better way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please Good. hold the line. Let me see him. Hello? Yes. Yes, hi. Uh, this is Officer Brandon Brown from DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. Okay. I do believe I'm talking with uh, Mr. Tony Soprano. Soprano, Soprano. It's Soprano. Right. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> Mr. Soprano? Yes. Before you're talking with my junior officer, so... I do believe uh, they can explain you regarding this case file, or no? Something about Texas and an abandoned car. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. Uh-huh. All right, all right. No problem, Mr. Tony. Uh, just give me a moment. I will explain you step by step, okay? So, okay, yeah. Okay. So now, first of all, <laughs> the reason of this call is to notify you about the intimation. About to what? Your about social a what? About a what? Inform me about something. I didn't understand what you said. About your social security number. You got it? Okay. Well, you go ahead. Receive? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So I'm telling you that your social security number has been suspended, okay? So now. Now, uh, okay, what? There are some huh? criminal activities are going on under your social. I'm sure there is. This is Tony Soprano. Yes. Yeah, it's Tony Soprano. Right. So, Mr. Tony what? Soprano, the first thing is, there are first is criminal activity. I mean to say drug trafficking. Yeah. Yes, are they? And yeah, the name, your social. Yeah, I'll go with that. And the second one, and the second one is money laundering. Now I'll go with that. I'm sorry? I said okay. Go ahead. All right. So now, Mr. Tony, according to investigation report, it says there are three reasons for this call. 
Okay. Firstly, First. there are multiple addresses listed under your name. Well, I got several addresses. The second one. How much? I've got several addresses. I got the house down on the beach, down on the shore, and then my regular house. I got two houses. You have your two houses? Right. Just bought a place down okay. on the shore. It's real nice. All right. The guy next so door gave me a little trouble. I is... took care of it, though. Okay, go ahead. Can I go ahead, Mr. Yeah, Tony? I'm waiting for you. All right. Do not interrupt me while I'm talking okay. to you, while I'm I explaining won't. you, Mr. Tony, okay? Yes, okay. I will give you a fair enough chance okay. once I'm done. Go Am ahead. Am I clear with this? Yes, go All ahead. Right. Thank go you. Ahead. Okay. I'm ready. Now, the second, the second one is there are four counts of drug possession and abuse listed under your social. And the third one, we have received a complaint file under your name and under your social security number. Your social was found some doing fraudulent activities and trying to defraud the government of USA. The Wisconsin of money of laundering what? under PC. Defraud them out of what? PC. I'm sorry? Defraud the government out of what? I said there are many criminal activities are going on. I right? know that. So now well, you said I was trying to defraud the yeah. government. What am I trying to defraud the government out of? Because we got your information. All right. That is the only reason we tried to reach you, Mr. Tony. Okay, go ahead. Did you get my point? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think so. So now, as you know, there are many addresses are listed under your name. So two. please confirm I got two addresses. addresses. Okay, go ahead. I, I told you... Let me complete my first. Listen to me first of all carefully. What I'm trying well, to tell you. Well, you're saying stuff and I'm answering you. I said, yeah, before I told you, there are many addresses are listed under your and name. And I okay? said I have two. So now, yeah, I know. So now please confirm which one of these addresses is your main address, okay? Okay. So which main, the first address which I have, it's 1245 El Paso, 16th Avenue. You what? should access. Seven, seven, you zero, gotta zero, slow nine. down. I didn't, under, I didn't understand a word you said about that address. All right, I'm repeating once again. Okay. It's one, two, four, five. Okay. El Paso, 16th Avenue, Houston, Texas, seven, seven, zero, zero, nine. No, nope, that's not mine. Do you know this address? Nope. No. Nope. nope. I got a house down on the shore and, the second, and a house on Long Island. So. How many addresses are listed under your name, Mr. Tony? You told me two. So two. can you just ve verify me that two addresses? 100 Main Street, Moravia, uh -huh. New York is my house. Uh huh. Okay, then 360 West 5th Street mm -hmm. in Trenton, New yes. Jersey is the one I got on the shore. Uh, it's in New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah, my, yeah, it's on the shore. Shore is in New Jersey. All right. No I live problem. in New York, but I mean, I got the house done on the shore. Uh -huh. We go down there, me and the boys. All right. Okay. So, Mr. Tony, uh, I just want to ask you, have you ever been in the state of Texas uh, in your life? Nah, I sent Christopher out past. there once, but he fucked it up, so you know, I haven't been there myself. Okay, all right. See, because, uh, Mr. Tony, the investigation began under your name and your social security number. Okay. <clears throat> When we recovered an abandoned car, okay, in the south border of Texas. Okay. And the car make and model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with no. the number. It's Texas 982071. Christopher's <clears throat> got a Mercedes. I'm sorry? Christopher had a Mercedes. He didn't have a Toyota. No. Uh, so which car do you have, you told me? It's... Mo my car is an Escalade, but Christopher, when he went to Texas, had uh -huh. a Mercedes. Okay, all right. See, because this car was lying idle on the street of the vehicle, local reported about nobody, car to Nobody what? Wait, nobody what? He said nobody something. I, I said, huh? yeah, I said this car was lying idle on the street Just and the local there. reported. Huh, okay. Yes, about the car to be suspicious. Ah. After which the local sheriff investigated the car. They found in that car some blood and drug trace in the car. Okay. For the, to the investigation, they found this car was rented under your name and your social security number along with the two addresses. So now, Mr. Tony, 
The second address is in El Paso, Texas that I'm talking about is already suspicious address which is raided by the state rangers and division and the U.S. Marshal. And they found a consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine which is in categories in synthetic drug and section as well as they found some paperwork. 22 pounds of cocaine? Yes, 22 pounds of cocaine. Oh, that's why I said Christian. And as well as, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tony. Did he leave it there? We found under your name this all of the information. Well, Silvio, okay. Silvio so, told me that it was all taken care of. I'm sorry? I thought it was all taken care of, according to Silvio. First of all, Mr. Tony, listen to me. Exactly okay. why you received the call from us, okay? Okay. okay? Because we are not here to troubling you, okay? okay. We, we are here to... Just help you out from this situation. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> okay. So now, Mr. Tony, as I told you, there are 22 pounds of coking which in categories. It's in synthetic drug. Section as well as they found drug. some paperwork. Did you yes. say it was synthetic? And some, yeah, it's synthetic. No, 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 it's real. It's real stuff. I don't deal in synthetics. Kids deal in I'm synthetics. Sorry? Kids, that's kid stuff. So now you tell me. I'm going to have to send Ralph over How come your information? How is this possible, sir? Mr. Tony. How is what possible? Yeah, I'm asking you. Asking me what? I said, how is this possible to someone is using your information? Well, it could be anybody. How come your information. It could be Ralphie, it could be Big Pussy, it could be anybody. Phil Leotardo, uh, my cousin Tony, I don't know. Why you don't know? Do you, do you suspect on anyone? Because yeah. this is your information. And Phil Leotardo has had a thing against me How many forever, and he could have done it. Who's? Phil Leotardo. Okay. Call Mr. him the Tony, Shaw. We call him the Shaw. You, Mr. Tony. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm asking now, you. What? Have you lost your wallet in your past? No. Are you sure? Are, are you positive? Well, yeah, I'm positive. All right. So I do believe uh, you can understand what I'm trying to tell you exactly, what's going on on, on your social. So <clears throat> now, Mr. Tony, now you tell me. Okay. What? You have to do. I mean to say, do you want to cooperate with the government in this case? Well, or do you want to take so. your own chance? I can send Silvio. Yeah, I can cooperate. All right, no problem. So, now, before Plus he can't I can go, go ahead. He's, he's sleeping with the fishes. To care I'm sorry? Nothing, go ahead. No, what you're saying, I didn't get? Nothing, I was talking about fishing. It's your patient? Yeah. I got suspicions. All right, all right. No problem. Okay. So, Mr. Tony. Yes. Can you let me know how many vehicles do you have? I got two. I have Escalade and Carmela. Carmela, my wife, has a Mercedes. Uh-huh. Okay. And as I can see in my system, Mr. Tony, as I told you before, uh, there are 15 bank accounts are running under your name. That sounds so, right. Are you, are you holding a 15 bank account with you? Uh, probably, yeah. I don't know. I don't take care of that stuff. Silvio takes care of that. Mother Yeah, you <laughs> Ben Colodi. <laughs> you stupid fucker. Found some blood and drug traces in the car. They find any now, guns? Is it in Mr. No guns though, huh? No. Okay. No guns. Okay. Only blood and drugs. Blood and drugs.